Hi, I just thought you might be interested in a quick look at this under cabinet kitchen light that had failed. Just taking it apart to have a look. What going on? It wasn't a tube, the control gear had gone in it. To leave it apart, quite interesting what's happened. The capacitor, main capacitor on it, as you can see it's overheated and bulged but it's also melted the insulation on the live connection the, that goes right through the fitting from they've got a plug on each end to socket one end and then there's a plug on the other end so you can put them in a row chain them up like and that's just wired straight through on the board with no fuse, no internal fusing and that's just melted through got so hot it's melted the insulation and shorted out which is a bit dodgy and you can see in the plastic there's some the green is actually a vapour from the track which was here so the track is just, no fuse has gone, it's just burnt the track off the board here so yeah that's what's happened to that. Also got the board from a this is from a 13 watt another one and that's something horrible happened in there transistor short circuit or the coil or something you can see these resistors have um, had a bit of a problem got a bit hot and a bit of black smoke but yeah so I don't know these aren't, don't look particularly well made these type of fittings these are uh, Returner brand Returner brand so if Ethernor or Eternor I don't know what they're called these ones yeah it's the wrong way up yeah they call them Returner in the wholesaler when you buy them but yeah that's what that is, that's probably four years of use uh, normal domestic kitchen yeah, anyway there you go, thought you might want to see